Navin Nandundupa, the president of the probably the largest amateur astronomical organization here in India, Bangalore Astronomical Society. Uh, welcome. Um, can you tell us how far the traditions of amateur astronomy go back in, in here in India? Uh, in India, at least as far as what I remember and I see, it goes back uh, to 1970s. Right. When uh, uh, at least the previous group that I was associated with, mm -hmm. they started in 1970s in planetarium and uh, in a science museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least what I remember, it goes up to 1970s. Right. But uh, if you go through the history of astronomy in, in India, mm -hmm. uh, as a professional and as a amateur, mm -hmm. it goes up almost probably 2000 years back. and. Uh, the 1,000 years of history, like Aryabhata and other people, mm -hmm. it's huge. BA yeah. <laughs> uh, has actually started off with two different groups of uh, social networking sites uh -huh. through Yahoo group and then the uh, Orkut. Uh -huh. And uh, eventually what happened is a group of enthusiasts said like, hey, why don't we meet up? We are just online. Right. And then I, I would say that was the first day when uh, people met up. And, and when, about when was that? This was in 2006, right. July 22nd. <laughs> Can you remember the date? And that is because that's a summer solstice. <laughs> no, it was an equinox day. Uh -huh. So we remember it <laughs> I see. Uh, that way. Good, good, good day to have an astronomical meeting. Right. <laughs> and uh, since then, mm -hmm. uh, BS got its actual uh, title as Bangalore Astronomical Society somewhere in the mid of July and August. Right. And by October, we were a registered non-profit organization in the societies of register. Right. It's officially government registered organization. And, and how many members would you say you have today? Uh, we have two types of members. Mm -hmm. One is the actual registered members for BAs. Mm -hmm. There are about 175 plus members. Oh. These are the members who play the who who have paid the. Uh, membership fee mm -hmm. for a student member above 18 years we have 100 rupees per year yeah. and an adult is 200 rupees per year mm -hmm. and a family member 400 per year but under 18 years for all the students we make it a default member right. and the goal of this membership is you are donating it to the organization mm -hmm. and in return we are we are encouraging you to be a member of the society apart from that mm -hmm. We are the largest organization and most active online with the Google Groups. Right. And in Google Groups, we have about 1,200 plus subscribers and uh, who are very really active. Mm -hmm. And on an average, the Google Groups run with 30 to 40 emails a day. And that's the that's traffic that we are as of now getting. It's very large. And right. the, these 1,000 plus members uh, of Google Groups, what kind of... Um, background do they have geographically? Are they all based in Bangalore? Okay, uh, though the title says that it's his origin from Bangalore Astronomical Society, uh -huh. uh, we have people from Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai, Mumbai, uh, Calcutta, uh, Pune, and Cochin, right. Hyderabad. We have almost all the major cities in India right. uh, who are also subscribed for our group. As well as we have people from Europe, US, East Coast, West Coast, mm -hmm. uh, and then the South America and uh, China. Uh, we have people from all, all over. Us. And are these uh, Indian nationals living in those countries? Uh, we have both Indian nationals who have mm -hmm. who have gone to US and settled, and then uh, have become a member. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, international. Uh, non-Indians as well. Something. I strongly believe that when we speak and learn and share with others, our preparation is what is our learning. Mm -hmm. So we have always been encouraging all the volunteers uh, to, to learn first by sharing. Mm -hmm. So learn to share, share to learn is my personal motto which I have been driving and taking this organization through. And tell us uh, some of the mechanisms by which BAS operates. There's obviously the, the groups. Um, you have video conferences and meetings and other things as well. Yeah, uh, 
usually what we do is we have an online uh, discussion forum mm -hmm. we have a separate group for bs core council members where we do a lot of administrative discussions and planning and work mm -hmm. around we have a volunteer strengths where we meet up and then organize for any events and apart from that for a general public we usually uh, either partner with other organizations to conduct mm -hmm. a workshop or we do a, a random uh, visit to a nearby park that's our house in fact right. where uh, opposite to indira priyadarshini in lalbagh uh, the kapan park uh, garden that's central pandal of pre yeah that's that's yeah. a center and there's a there's a big tree under which we sit and then we do a lot of discussions and planning every year it has been a tradition that our elections happen at the, at, at that point in addition to astrophotography what other types of astronomical projects are bas members involved in okay uh, bas members are predominantly involved in uh, observation astro sketching and then uh, sidewalk astronomy there is uh, observational astronomy and then we have a volunteer strength who wants to be an educators mm -hmm. okay so that is another platform bs is another platform for them to learn about how to be a astronomy educators and ah. astronomy volunteers right. apart from this we also have events which are like astro research programs which have been col collaborated with other agencies like space delhi mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, the sidewalk astronomy with the international sidewalk astronomy groups mm -hmm. and iya 2009 groups mm -hmm. uh, astronomy without border uh, groups so uh, i should say that 2009 year mm -hmm. was one of the most productive year for bs programs right. uh, i don't remember how many programs we did <laughs> we did uh, a couple of uh, professional and amateur collaborative works uh, we had uh, workshops from the professionals Uh, and amateur groups uh -huh. a lot of observational visits lots of sidewalk astronomy events uh, yes. it was a three day program mm -hmm. on the day when galileo uh, first saw the uh, the moons of jupiter mm -hmm. it was a sidewalk astronomy concept where we do an activity on 22nd 23rd and 24th of october 2009 across the globe and india uh, bs was also one of the partners there but then looking at indian uh, cloud conditions a monsoon period what we realized is this 3 day time period is not suitable uh, based on the meteorological weather predictions mm -hmm. so bas came up with its own way of handling this mm -hmm. the goal was very simple popularize astronomy popularize telescope popularize about looking at uh, the moon and uh, jupiter mm -hmm. so what we did is instead of 3 days bas volunteers did it for complete 30 full days it was <laughs> 30 days of non stop uh, astronomy sidewalk astronomy night so we uh, had about 45 locations across bangalore different locations in bangalore and we have shown almost 1 people through the telescope to view jupiter and moon and so these were people members of the public who came to sidewalk astronomy individuals that you had helped organize around bangalore yes. and in that period that's a huge number it's very successful. that's a huge number and the organization itself took a lot of time mm -hmm. but we had a, a, a the planning was so good that we never felt it was a overhead and it was an awesome experience coordinating with the volunteers at the end of the day each volunteer reported back approximately how many people visited the uh, sidewalk night and peeped through the telescope and there was one day which was cloudy right. and we did not want to break the session right okay so what bas did is we had a online hangout session on that day right. so that we don't break it up right and uh, apart from that the 30 days visit when we submit our report through iya program yeah. we were the third largest gathering in the world yeah. for galilean nights we had a third prize award for that google hangout this is something that uh, bas make use of so that's essentially like an online live interactive activity so you can show videos that you've recorded before people making short talks or having a q and a 
right. and it's an ideal way to fill in those odd days okay. with county. Uh, given the fact that BS does not have a sheltered office space where we can meet at a single place apart from the garden in uh -huh. the Lal Kabin Park, uh, we are using the online technology to the core right. where uh, Google Hangout uh, and the Google Plus is, is so awesome that hey, it's easy for us to get connected wherever we are. Right, and right now we have partnered with uh, Jane College where we can do regular programs there mm -hmm. using their venue. So the best model that we are looking at is a partnership model. Mm -hmm. So they partner and we do an in collaboration work. Mm -hmm. The second one is like I'm I'm in a discussion with organizations where we can use their office spaces or the classrooms from any universities mm -hmm. during their weekends when their space is not occupied. And uh, there's a lot of background uh, discussions happening, but we'll surely have a space soon. Yeah. Excellent. And just going back to the projects and activities that BAS is involved in, do you have um, regular interaction with professional astronomers as well? Uh, we have an offline interaction with the professional astronomers. <laughs> Uh, because of any, uh, when we have a workshop or an activity, it's there, mm -hmm. we invite professional work, uh, astronomers to come and talk to us. Okay. Well, do BS um, members or as an organization have uh, events, collaborative events with any international? Uh, most of the uh, collaborations that we have had with international mm -hmm. groups is, is predominantly on an observational front mm -hmm. and data analysis front. So the Asteroid Search Program is an international collaboration that we have done. Mm -hmm. So the, I can probably say that the members of BAS has uh, three to five, <coughs> three to five near earth asteroids mm -hmm. have been uh, discovered and uh, very soon they'll be getting a, a space to name them. Any organization wants any uh, observational uh, uh, activities to be supported from okay. India, mm -hmm. we are open for it. Mm -hmm. And then if at all there is any data analysis to be done, mm -hmm. we have a huge group of student members mm -hmm. and uh, grads, uh, the undergrads and postgrads who are into physics background, who wants to do the data analysis, work as an assistant to the professionals uh, during their course of time of study. So we will be very happy to collaborate with other universities and uh, professors uh, and, and then they need some support uh, from the community as well. And I've noticed that the majority of the VAS members tend to be young and very geeky, very technically very competent and I'm sure that's going to be a huge resource right. in the future. We and have, we have uh, members right from 6 to 7 years age mm -hmm. to 80 plus. So we have all the age group, but predominantly the age group, I can say well, the maximum strength is between 18 to 35 is, is where a lot of people are churned out. Uh, let me ask you on that membership, uh, what percentage of the membership would you say is female? Uh, I would say about 10 to 15 percent. What projects do you see in the pipeline for BS in the near to long distance future? So, uh, as I stated before that we, we predominantly look at learn to share and share to learn concept. Mm -hmm. So, one of the projects that we are foreseeing is to come up with a book which is on astronomy, mm -hmm. which the goal of the book is two things. One, the author should understand and learn about the astronomical mm -hmm. aspect and the, and the book is an outcome of the learning and and authoring a book is not the goal. Mm -hmm. the, the goal is to learn and the result of that should be a book which comes up as an articles and things like that. I come from a background of professional uh, consulting. Mm -hmm. I'm an agile coach and a consultant. Mm -hmm. So in my coaching and consulting, I strongly believe in engaging people to learn. So we are also try planning to set up an engaging ecosystem right. for participants to discuss and learn. Mm -hmm. That's the next uh, agenda that we have. And apart from that, we want to increase our uh, collaboration with the professional team. So we have already piloted this program and it's been very popularly uh, received. 
Uh, so there's one setup which is going to be uh, with a camera and a telescope and a Google Hangout setup and it's going to be a Google Live where people across the globe can just log in and then start viewing what is uh, running through on the telescope. Wow. That's uh, quite a lot going on, particularly with the collaboration with international uh, organizations and professionals, but I really particularly like the idea of the, the books and recording of the observations because that gives the people who are new to astronomy a very structured and organized way of doing astronomy but also recording what they're doing. Naveen, President of BAS, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you so much for inviting and talking to me.